Hi guys, in this video, I will demonstrate how we can secure HTTP request endpoint by using service principal ID over legacy setting of anyone can trigger the workflow. This is best suited when you are sharing this endpoint to any external or third party application for pushing data back to Power Platform environment. I will show a simple example of calling HTTP request endpoint securely from Postman web app. We start with a simple flow where HTTP request accept a JSON object, concatenate input name with hello, and finally return the output of compose action in the body of response action. The first step is to create an enter ID app, select enter ID tile, go to app registration tab, and click new registration button from the command bar. Enter an app name. Leave the support account type radio button as is. Register an app. Next, go to API permissions and select add a permission link. To select an API, scroll down and locate Power Automate card. Click the card and choose user permission to access Microsoft Flow as signed in user. This permission require admin consent. Now navigate to certificate and secret tab. Click new secret link. Enter the description and select the expire duration. Copy and save the value of secret as we will need it later when we call flow from Postman web app. Next, go to Overview tab and click the link under Manage Application in Local Directory. Copy the object ID of Service Principal. Go back to the flow. Select specific user in my tenant from who can trigger the flow parameter. Enter the object ID of the service principal and save the flow. Next step is to open Postman web app. Firstly, we will retrieve the access token to trigger the flow by using OAuth 2 token endpoint. Replace the tenant ID with actual tenant ID in the URL. Copy the tenant ID from the Azure portal and replace it. Similarly, copy client ID and paste into the body parameter. Paste the client secret copied earlier during its creation. The resource parameter depends on the cloud type. Its value is different for public cloud, cloud, GCC and other clouds. Here we are using public cloud, so copy the first value, paste this value in the resource parameter. Press send button to submit the token request. You can see 200 status code and the response object that contains the token type, its expiry timestamp and the access token value. After getting access token, then the final step is to call the HTTP request by passing the token value in the header. 
Before that, go back to flow, copy the HTTP request URL and paste it in the URL text box. In body, pass the raw input JSON object. Go to the authorization tab, select bearer token from the auth type drop down if it is not selected. Go back to the auth to token request. Copy the access token value. Place this value in the token text box. Press send button to trigger the workflow. You can see the success written code and the expected output string in the response body. Let's check the flow execution from the flow run history. Open the flow instance. Verify the input JSON in the HTTP request trigger. Verify the value in the compose action. And finally, check the value of the response object. So that's it. For more videos on feature update and use cases, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.